Hey guys. Hi everybody. It's taking a little while for people to come. Hey Jeff, what's the 411, my friend? So today's prayer day. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Got a lot of prayers. If you need to submit a prayer, it's too late right now, but you'll go to grindle9103 at gmail.com. Swami, Lisa, Jeff, Grandma, Gina, good to see the crowd. Now, I put this on the lowest. They don't even have the ability to do no ads, but you can put like sparse or hardly any. So I did that. Thank you for, oh, you know what? She is like the most wonderful person in the whole world. I just absolutely love her. She, and when her and I get together, like two girl, giggly girlfriends, we chat, we gossip, shoot. We chit chat, you know what I'm saying? Hi, Connie. Thank you. And I want to do more with her. So I told her, let's, let's, girl, let's keep this up about once a month or something. Thank you so much, Maria. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I sure, I was nervous though, because I was talking fast. You can tell when I'm chit-chatting too fast. But she asked good questions. And then we got our little prophecies at the end. If you didn't catch it, you can go to it. Uh, it was a lot... Was it a live? No, I think it was It was on Zoom, so it was taped. You can go to my last one, and there you are. Thank you, Elsa. Thank you, Roseanne. Thank you, Equus. Okay, Connie, we got to put Connie's son out there. Todd, he needs a J-O-B. You know what I'm saying? Really, Swami, thank you so much. She said, your book is the best read I've had in a long time. It's my story. I just came out with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Deborah, I think so too. And we did two separates. My son taught me how to, actually, Andre tried to teach me this, but there is a Google, what is the name of it? It's Google Drive, and you can upload it from Zoom, and then you put it in Google Drive and share it. So we can both post it. Hey, Mo. Hey, darling. Oh, listen. First of all, first of all, this is sort of off the subject a little bit. But did y'all hear that that guy that's talking about, uh, about Mar-Lago and what happened? The reason he even came out and started telling the truth? Because he says that judge is going to reveal his name anyway so he did it on his own terms so now all over uh x and all those places they're saying oh yeah he uh it it backfired on her so now it's really putting a disdain towards trump you know because it's proof beyond a reasonable doubt and also i watched a little bit of the uh, i had to run around this morning i watched a little bit of the back and forth and what a partisan hack it's just ridiculous. It's really hard. It's hard. And then what else did I want? I wanted to tell you guys something else. I'll probably do a video maybe tonight. I'm going to ask you guys to give me some, some questions. Um, but also I had put out a ask for an animal communicator and I got a whole bunch of people. 
Thank you, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm forwarding it to Arlene. She's our, uh, she, she'll call you and talk to you. And, you know, I don't know if we can use as many people as. I saw Ken Buck is leaving, Jeff. Yeah. He can't take the. And then uh, Marjorie Taylor Green and, and what's his name? Uh, Butthead. Beavis and Butthead, you know, with the hair, Matt Gates. They're saying, yeah, we're getting rid of the rhinos. I thought, now nah, the country's going to get rid of you guys. So um, thank you, you guys. God, you guys really loved it with Marianne. I've, I've been on a lot of shows. Uh, you know, Sheila, I got to tell you, Bill Barr's cards are no good. But this is prayers today. Today we're talking about the prayers. But anyway, thank you for the animal, animal communicators. Our name will be getting a hold of you. And I have an idea for maybe in May, we need to do a show about uh, about relationships and about there's there seems to be an issue with uh, women and men. Uh, what do you call it? Like Trump is when you're it's always about you. What do you call that? Uh, OK, Swami. What do you call that? A narcissist. And I talked to a client today. She was, she's got a degree, but she was giving me some stuff that was exactly like a relationship I had. And I knew that she was talking about women are, can be big time narcissists too. We don't want to man beat up, you know, because we love our men. I love my men's, you know what I'm saying? Narcissist. Thank you, sweetheart. Hi, Water Lily. Hi, Sherry. Um, Lisa. Yeah. So we're going to have animal communicators on for next month. And the month after that, I want to talk about narcissists. There's some people out there that are real educated on it. Carrot Top said the clan are going down. I love it. Okay. Liz says my prayers for a significant other and the pastor and the pilot to be able to return home safely. Okay, Rebecca, you got some experience with narcissists? Write me at grindle9103 at gmail.com. We probably should get a lot of people. I want men, too, to talk about specific relationships and what they did and how they got through it. And by the by, before I start, did y'all hear? Ukraine is hitting Russia big time. They just blew up some oil refinery. They're in some city, and it, there was all kinds of pictures. And Russians are fighting with the Ukrainians. Hello? W what did we say when Novani was taken out? We said that Russia, Russia's tired. So one of the ways they can do this is they can join up with Ukraine and boom. I love it, you guys. I think this may be some of the surprise stuff coming up. Anyway, okay, so we got to get on with our prayers. Okay, so, um, oh, Tris, I'm so sorry. I think I, I, and I think you're in here. Tris, Tris wanted to thank everybody for praying for his friend. And uh, she wasn't going to make it. She passed on Thursday. Godspeed to her. Um, yeah, sorry, you guys. It's taking so long to get the book. Jesus Christ. I ordered a bunch so I can do the book thing uh, this Saturday, and I'm probably not going to get it till Wednesday or Thursday. TikTok. All right, let's start, you guys. Okay, do me a favor. I want you to breathe in deep, as deep as you can. Blow it out. Breathe in deep. Blow it out. Breathe in deep, blow it out. You should feel a little bit high. I, I want you to ask the highest realm to step in and help us with these prayers and vibrationally send them out to the universe and that everyone we prayed for are comforted and loved by the realm. And no, too, don't be sitting too much focus on outcomes. Know that what's supposed to happen will happen. So, uh, okay. So, um, 
I want to start off with uh, my friend Ron, who helped build this house, and um, he's really sick uh, with cancer. So, Ron, we, we put out for you. And my cousin Regina, she has ALS. And let me tell you, your prayers, have, I think, have been keeping her going. So, Regina, we send love and prayers out to you. And Jen Lynn still works on her. Uh, by the way, I had Jen Lynn and, and Mary on the other day. They're having a little event. And I think they're getting a bunch of people that couldn't can't do this one. So, they're going to add more. And then... Um, um, Uh, Jim, uh, so, and the other one I'm going to do is Debbie Freebird and our, our baby, Ken, he's my, he's my son, Ken, um, healing and, uh, Jeff, and they're having a, some sort of event. So it looks fun. So, okay. All right. So we did for my cousin, we did for Ron. I want to pray for my cousin, Jim, who's going through some physical stuff severe because like he's severely rheumatoid you know when you're older and you have an onset of rheumatoid arthritis the pain is horrible so he's going through that and uh there's medication you can take nowadays but he can't take it because he has a heart that bad heart so we need prayers for jim and my cousin sue who busy trying to keep things going she's just a love bug okay all right so here we go rosemary in case this was cut off, what does that mean? Okay, in case this was cut off in the previous email. Oh, I'm a veteran, uh, 72, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Building Department. Forced out of my home, I had personally renovated with plaster repairs and paint and a new roof. The bad neighbors in the trades want the land under the building, which was going to go up in value a lot in 20 years, a good neighbor said. So someone keep pinching hole, keep something pinching holes on my new roof year after year, plus harass, harassed and terrorized me in other ways. The city's building department is trying hard to make me homeless by condemning my second house. I paid for a historic house because there's holes in the eaves, no heat or water. Jesus, girl. Um, she got a renovation loan program, failed to process my application and those from some black women, and that the heat and water, electricity, and all new appliances, I've lived in it now, but I was robbed of over $50,000 profit. They just wanted the land under my house. Damn, girl. Okay, girl, so, the, so we need to pray. I can't read all of it because it's quite long. She is going to court. She went to court March 6th. So we need to find out, girl, what happened. Um, so we need to pray for Rosemary. And um, we need to pray that, that whether she loses the house or not, it's good not to focus on something specific. You ask the realm to keep you a roof over your head and make sure you're okay. Okay, so Rosemary. Dorothy. Please pray for my granddaughter, Sophie. She's 16 with severe depression. Also, could you pray for me with newly diagnosed type 2? You just, girl, they got so many things out there now. You're going to be fine. Janet, thank you for prayers. My brother-in-law has finally gotten his own place. You did say it would take a long time. It took two to three months. Awesome. Thank you. I like those feedback comments, too. Juanita, please pray for me as I had to unexpectedly put down my little dog. Oh, I call Samson. I find myself crying daily. Oh, did you guys see John Stewart? He lost his dog. Oh, God, I was sobbing. He was sobbing, too. Also, pre please pray doctors can figure out what's causing pain around my gallbladder. I've been suffering off and on since 2012. I do have, we do have gallbladder and ulcers that run in my family. Pray that I would be blessed to find a new friend close by as I am lonely as I go through health issues. Linda alone. I'm a widow of 21 years. Oh, Juanita, God love you. Sandy, please say prayers for our family as we suddenly lost our beloved nephew. Oh, my brother, his dad had two children and we lost one niece when she was only 16 from a mistake during open heart surgery 
26 years ago, and my nephew was 57 when he passed. He also had heart issues, developed bacterial pneumonia that spread to his bloodstream. And her brother is in remission with lung cancer. She's you need big time prayers, girl. Um, we are very worried uh, about him. Um, we are trying to help with settling his affairs and taking care of, of my brother with grief, with grieving our nephew and are devastated. Okay, so we got you in our prayers, Sandy. God bless. Okay, hold on. Rice. Asking for prayers for my young son who is struggling with bullets at school and has tremendous self-doubt and self-blame for a few months now. Nothing seems to bring a smile on his face. Oh, poor baby. Trini. Please pray for me. I, I, I will be having cervical surgery March 6th. It's very painful. I already deal with lots of pain. I will be having another surgery six weeks later, lumbar spinal. Oh, Trini, write us too and let us know how you did. Holly, would like to request a prayer for my mom, Patricia, for overall good mental and good physical health. Thank you, Linda, and may God continue to bless you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. People are so sweet. MJ, my husband had major surgery one week ago today. He hasn't been able to keep anything down. Asking for healing for him to not become depressed because of his weight loss. This is the second major surgery in three and a half years. You know, those surgeries will kick your butt. We got a rescue dog six years ago and had 14 teeth removed. Three years later, we lost two more. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so we got that. Okay, so this is the same person, MJ. I become very attached to her. Did we know each other in another life? That's a question. It's not a prayer. Cheryl, uh, mom passed away in January. We didn't have a great relationship, so regret on hand how I handled things. Going over in my head. The moodas, shoulda, couldas, are no, they don't, it's totally different over there. So don't worry about that. Don't beat yourself up. Looks like my sibling and I don't have a great relationship. They basically withheld that she was actively dying. Uh, I feel like such a bad person. Mom kind of demanded our entire attention. Plus, I am an introvert. Listen, girlfriend, your mom is loving and loves you. You don't even go there. They see what they did to you. Uh, please place my girlfriend, Cindy, of Vero Beach, Florida, on your prayer list. She has cancer that's metastasized. That's from Nancy. Cheryl. Please say prayers for my niece and her mother. This is from Cheryl. Okay. Sharon. Hello, Linda. I love your show for over several years and would like a reading, but every time I try to schedule. Oh. Oh, but so, okay. But she does have a prayer in the bottom. Please pray for me that my sister and I win, win this car accident lawsuit and do not get stuck with a high cost of physical therapy bill. I was hit in the rear, and I believe our attorney threw us under the bus. Don't they always? I always hear that. Jolyn, asking for prayers for my brother. Drew in Alaska, he's having a four-way bypass and a valve replacement. That's a heavy duty. Let us know how he did. Prayers for my friend Delane, who is having heart valve replacement. Uh, and not sure what else. what else also on March 20th. Prayers for my friend Diana, who has pneumonia and asthma. For my niece, Bobby Ruth, whose esophageal surgery went wrong, is being transferred to long-term care facility. Damn. Prayers for my great niece, Alex, crushed in a Perryton tornado for continued healing. Also prayers for myself as I am starting a new career in AI to be successful and to have pressure in my eyes to be lowered and more tears to be created. For all the innocents in Israel, Ukraine, and Palestine, Russia, and everyone around the world, most benevolent outcome. Amen. Lori, please pray for my cats. I don't have to move until later this year. 
and that I will have enough money to move us into a beautiful, safe, happy, afford. And you tell universe and you tell them thank you before it even comes and it'll come. Lori, please pray that I meet my life partner this year who loves animals as much as I do, especially cats. All right, girlfriend. Lori, again, please pray that my amazing new life in Southern California is happening this year. I do animal Reiki and introspect species communication. I provide free transport for dogs and cats that are overcrowded shelters to get them to rescues. Oh, wow. Cool, girl. Nancy, I'm battling colon cancer. My mother and her sister need help, too. Donna. There are so many things in this world to pray for. It seems almost selfish to ask for oneself, but please pray for me and my family, our health and financial security. Christina, I'm having bone marrow biopsy performed Thursday, March 7th, and could really use your prayers. Doctor believe I have B-cell lymphoma, and I ask to be as pain-free as possible since no one prescribes pain meds anymore. All right, Christina, let us know. Sounds like it was already done. Cynthia, I'm requesting a prayer for my grandson, Isaiah, who's struggling with bipolar. Aubrey, I, I wrote maybe a year ago for prayers for a job for me and for my cat, Angel. Just a quick update. I got a job and my cat, who was palliative, is still doing well. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the prayers. I also love a prayer for my dear friend, Jennifer, from Switzerland, who is struggling in her marriage and her life direction. She's a really good person. Oh, so sweet. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth, please pray for folks in California to leave or reach safety before harm comes to them due to the weather. We've been raining every day. We rain today, but it's much lighter. It's a little better. Uh, Margaret, would you please include my dear friend Rochelle on the prayer list? Uh she has recently been diagnosed with amyloidosis, a disease of protein buildup in the heart, kidneys, and organs. She's in a deep depression, I can imagine. Kelly, kindly asking for prayers and most benevolent outcome for justice for my hubby's business and for our family to keep our home. He had to file bankruptcy due to a perfect storm of employee theft and underhanded clients. Oh, my God. Just put him up there in the realm, and it's only money. You guys will work it out. Uh, Janet, please pray for my daughter, Sarah, just diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis with a very full on three year old and not much day to day support. I worry from her husband who works long hours, leaving her to cope on her own. She's pretty overwhelmed. And listen, it causes severe exhaustion. Um, hold on. I don't know. It causes really severe exhaustion. Um, by the way, about 18 months ago, I asked for your prayers when this little family almost lost their home and things came right, right for them. That's I'm telling you, you just got to tell the realm that I will be done and you're done. I can't thank you enough, Kendall, for all you do. Once again, I'm requesting prayers for my husband's stage four prostate cancer treatment, hoping for good news. Amen. Stephanie. My family friend's daughter-in-law just passed away unexpectedly. Paige is only 32 years old, and she has a son who's 14 months old. Prayers for the family with such a short life. Oh, my God. It's so, so tragic. Blessings to you, Linda. This is Ortega. Please include my family in prayers. I have a pinch nerve in my neck with tingling in the hands. My daughter is suffering from burnout. Niece has lupus, sister-in-law with multiple med problems and is on lung transplant list. Another niece with depression and medical issues. Other niece with neck pain and, and pain tingling in her arms and lower back. Oh, okay. Big prayers. Josie, my brother Frank has been diagnosed with MG, Masivia, Mas I, I can't even pronounce it, Gravis. Could you please put him in the prayer group? Maria. Please pray for my family friend, her sister, plus the rest of her family, plus Emma. They are targeted by extortion gang in Mexico, where they have received death threats. Boy, I'm scared because Emma, my friend in Mexico, has more than has been more than a friend. She has been a sister to me. 
Every time I asked her to pray with me on anybody else, she did with a prayer group in Mexico. And believe you and me, every time I asked to pray for someone, it worked. So we got to pray for this beautiful Emma. Elizabeth, please pray that my husband, Pete, who suffers from depression, who easily loses it with other people's emotions, will find a wrong in the ladder of thoughts that are high energy and a feeling of kindness. Amen. Laura, please pray for George in Colorado so he can start chemo in March. Awesome. Um, Letitia, we need prayers from my Aunt Nancy, who has been suffering with terrible pain in her jaw for the last 10 years, to find treatment that will finally give her relief. I've heard of this. Um, and for my mom's hip surgery, which is set in March. So let us know. And we need her to have a good surgery and, and good pain relief. Thanks for all the prayers. My brother has found a job and found a home. Amen. Holly, um, I like prayers from my husband who suffers from horrible back pain. When you read me several years ago, you mentioned that he was in a lot of pain. And of course, it was not. It has not gotten better. Oh, we need to pray for, for Holly's husband. AP, prayers for finding a life partner having my own family. I'm finally seeing the light after years of illness and financial hard steps. This is for Anna. And I would like to offer prayer for Thanksgiving for my 91 year old mom. Her kidney numbers jumped from a very low number that indicated failure back to the range she has been at for the past 10 years. Also prayer for thanks for me in being cancer free from colon cancer in remission from multiple myeloma and walking after being paralyzed from a biopsy injury. All thanks to the prayers from everyone this past year. Awesome, girlfriend. Thanks to the Divine One, all the angels and guides, and to you, Linda, and all of your praying community. Prayers work. They sure do, right? They sure do. Sylvania, hello, asking for prayers, most benevolent outcome. My younger brother, Dave, is battling pancreatic cancer and liver cancer. My family also has a history of cancer. Mother had pancreatic, father had stomach cancer, another brother prostrate. And now I was recently, recently advised that I also have a small cyst on my pancreas. Jesus, girl. Asking for ongoing prayers for my younger brother, Dave, and now for myself as I go for more testing. Carlos. Blessings. Please pray for me. I have a court date, Zoom 3-5. The lawsuit comes from Pollock Rosen Law Firm, a Capital One debt from seven years ago. Yeah, you fight those. And also, you know, seven years, it, it could be past the time. I think three years might even be it if you're in California. Karen, prayers. My parents get approved for Medicaid. Okay, so she needs prayers for Medicaid. Um, Nifi, Nephi, can I have prayer requests for my stomach issues? I've been having GI issues since I was a teen. Okay. Um, Fila, I just found out my cousin Lauren McDonough, age 73, has a cancerous brain tumor. It's halo shape on top of the brain with a lesion on the side. He is also going through tests, but doctors are recommending chemo and radiation. Pray for the most benevolent outcome. Joe Lynn, prayers for the most benevolent outcome for, for my sister who's 78 years old, tripped over her dog in the middle of the night and broke her right hip. Oh, God. Hella painful. Prayers for my husband and his sister after her son suddenly died last week. Ooh. That's terrible. Catherine, prayers needed. To heal my left knee and decent job career offer soon. Pat Lee, please pray for my family. Mom is 85 and about to undergo surgery to remove blood clots while I'm at peace with God's will. I'm worried about dad who is 88. They've been married 65 years. My two brothers don't share my strong belief. I'm concerned for them. Thank you, Linda, and to the community. AJ. Can we pray your book is successful? Oh, thank you, honey. Can we pray the doctors find out what is wrong with Lady G? Is she still sick? Lady G still sick? That's terrible. Can we pray that I find the perfect home? 
Lastly, I'm sending love to you, your family, and your followers. I want everyone to be held in the spirit and white light. And I wanted to tell you guys, too, we'll pray for a revealing light, Marianne. Because she really, she's doing much better, but she has some struggles. Uh, Sarah, I'm praying that my angioplasty to repair PDA will go well Monday with no complications. She wrote this on March 4th, so I'm praying it was okay. Susan, health and financial concerns. Thank you. Sharon, I had a hip replacement and a knee replacement. Would like prayers that I can walk without assistance. BX, please pray for my nephew who's been out of work for over a year and does not have housing. Jody, I'd like to take a moment to thank you in this community. Paula last week after she had a stroke, she's been an up and down week, but she's being transferred to rehab. It's going to be a lot of hard work. So we need to pray for her and her well-being. Lois. I'm asking for the most benevolent outcome for getting what is owed back to me from my unethical attorney. Marie, Stephen had had on car crash, broke all his rib, laceration of the liver. Oh, yeah, he needs prayers. M. Steen. I don't think this is for prayers. This is something else. Okay, and um, Teresa Ford. This is this is me sending a note to me. Teresa Ford lost her forty-three-year-old daughter. Prayers for her. Christian Island. I'm still finding it difficult finding a new job. Please pray to clear all negative around me. Jane, please pray for Maureen who has ovarian cancer. Cassia diagnosed with Hashimoto's, and Charlie for his neck and shoulder. G. Shimio. Please pray for my friend Carrie experienced a miraculous speedy recovery after being hit by a drunk driver. She was not in a car. She has a lot of pain and three fractures in her spine. That'll hurt like a SOB. Mary, prayers from four year old Grayson for healing, has serious brain, face, and spine injuries from a car accident. Melissa. I'm asking for prayers for my husband, Pat. He has been dealing with some serious health issues since last October. In January, he had a large tumor removed successfully from his liver. However, they found cancer cells, and we are seeing an oncologist. Oh. Uh, okay, so Robin, please pray for Mark, a 26-year-old comedian. He has been diagnosed with acute leukemia has been hospitalized since February 15 and is undergoing treatment. Pray he beats this disease. Also for Carrie, who wrote me on the wrong email, but she said she had a heart attack, so we need to pray for Carrie, uh, that she recovers well. Okay, Janet, would you please put my name in the prayer list to healing of ongoing health problems? Tessie. After COVID, I was suffering from depression, but and anxiety is still going on. I broke my toe. Oh, that hurts. Prayers that the toe isn't permanently bent over. I experience a pulling pain in my abdominal region when I do left legs lifts. Lifts. I did have a birch sling operation. Is that what is causing it? I went healing on these three things. Oh man, Marsha. Uh Please request on my behalf for the most benevolent outcome that my daughter and her children find their own homes and they'll enjoy moving out of my home. Okay. I have also lost my own support group with loss of my closest sister to cancer for years before the dealing with my mother's dementia. My own health at age 69 has suffered with fibromyalgia Diabetes, fatigue. Sorry, this is so long. Um, I managed with the help of my spirit team to get the older two grandchildren moved out, which has been the most toxic for me. But the 19-year-old is failing to launch her process. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Please pray for us. My income was reduced to 16.55 due to kids reaching 18. My daughter, their mother, helps with quite a bit of errands, but but also adds her own set of problems. 
I hope you see this. I really need help. Oh, Amen, Marsha. We'll produce some prayers for you. Sally, my niece just called and told me my oldest sister is in the hospital on a ventilator. She has fluid in her lungs, but she is breathing 50% on her own. Please pray for her recovery and her family. My sister has also been taking care of her husband who has dementia. You know, a lot of caregivers, they get real sick. They get real sick. Okay, hi, you guys. I'm just looking up for a minute. I would like a MBO. And for you to say prayer from finding the seal of Solomon that I had it disappeared somewhere in my bedroom. I can't get at it. My furniture is heavy. It isn't a harm anyone. It's just, it's mine. And I would like an M BMO. I think he means the most benevolent outcome from my little black onyx pinky ring. Dennis, I'm having left leg surgery this Tuesday, March 12th. So that's today, Dennis. Pray that the surgery is successful. Alexandra, please pray for my daughter, Carmen, that she and her family find a new place to live after need of renter to have her house back. Okay, girlfriend. Nancy, my husband has been diagnosed with stage three lung cancer and will begin radiation and chemo. Please pray that his treatment goes well. Oh, man. You know, my friend Tris, the one I wrote about in the book, had stage three, and he's it's, we're going on 20 years. Please pray that Lady G, this is April, of Lady G Troll will recover from diverticulitis. That's very painful. Nora, prayers that we lost our beautiful, sweet kitty of 15 years, monkey. We loved him so much in our heart's sake. I know that one, girl. Prayers to you. Yoga, thanks for all you do. Can you please pray for my oldest nephew who is experiencing a difficult time? And I ask that he may be protected as he faces these life challenges. Renee, please include my 91-year-old mother in the prayer. She fell and fractured her C6 and a small part of her pelvic. She has, she has to go into rehab nursing. Sometimes that rehab nursing is the worst. Gina, can I press for being in a deep depression, stress, and financial help? It's been a year that my husband has been out of work, and I'm still looking, and we are struggling. Okay, Gina, God bless you. Francis, please pray for me to find an affordable apartment or studio. It's very expensive here on the East Coast, and I've been told to move by June 1st. Oh, yeah, I would be anxious, too. You tell the realm thy will be done, and watch what happens. Would you please pray for my sister? This is Dina. Tina Lay, who has had pain since she was involved in a car accident 20 years. She said it's her cervical, <coughs> thoracic, and lumbar. Also, could you please pray for her sight to return? Jean, please pray for my two daughters and grandson. Oldest daughter, has been called back for an ultrasound after a mammogram. Younger daughter has severe depression. Her meds have caused TD. She is struggling to find the right meds. Yusuf is four, had a brain injury at birth. His seizures are back. Oh, God, it's your plate's full, Jean. Linda, may I please have purse for my right knee? Injured, it worse, hurts every time I put weight on it. Live alone on the fourth floor. Oh, Linda, I'm so sorry. Can you please say a prayer for my son, Frankie, so that he can find another job? Because right now he doesn't make enough to stay afloat. This is Miss Maddie. Marianne, I'm in need of some help, please. Prayers are in such good energy. I've worked so many times in my life. I'm sure it sounds like a stupid request, but it's my home I need to pray about. My condo home owners association it's trying to get insurance coverage renewed, and it's looking very rough. Insurance companies are dropping people quite often, and it's really shameful that they can get away with these practices. I'm asking for the best outcome for attaining new coverage. Uh, don't be in fear, and it'll be okay. And then we'll change all this, by the way. I just heard that, too. If I buy a new house right now, I can't get insurance on it. My state farm won't cover it unless I move out of state. Naja, please send prayers for myself for my spinal and tetanitis issue. Sabrina, please pray for my daughter Una, a pediatric nurse who needs a miracle to get off night shifts. It's impacting her health and she has no personal life. I know that one. I did night shifts for years. 
Also, please pray for her husband's healing. Your prayers have helped out. We have more to go. His Parkinson's has been really rough. All right, we'll pray for him, girlfriend. Rose, I am new to your subscribers, and I'm really impressed with your talent. Thank you. I'd like to thank the members of the Academy and everybody here. <laughs> um, please pray for my cousin, Ted, who lost his mom, my mom's sister, my aunt, a year ago, and I think he is doing well, but I just want to make sure he continues his positive journey. Also, please pray for my friend, Keith, who has lost his job. Just hope he's doing well. Wait, Keith, who just, oh, not his job. Also, please pray for my friend, Keith, who I just lost suddenly last month. Just hope he's doing well in heaven and is happy now. I just didn't, did not think he was that happy with his life. Oh, he's in paradise now, Rose. Julie, after 37 years, I'm trying to quit smoking. It's a struggle. Please ask for strength. Amen. Baron, my dearest Linda G, my name is Jeanette. I've been sick for the most part of this year from asthma. I'm trying to recover, but keep getting knocked down with more aggravation. Please pray for a most benevolent outcome for my asthma. Sherry, asking that my trip to the West Coast goes smoothly and I can pick up my new, new to me car, that the trip back across the country goes without incident for myself and my son. He's going with me to help me make the drive back to Louisiana. Also, that I'm able to do a meet and greet and meet some of the readers and chat on the West Coast. Um, Sherry, whereabouts are you going? Let me know. Gillian. My name is Gillian. I live in Caribbean. I'm a subscriber. I would like you to pray for my eldest daughter, Sue Ann, her date of birth. Well, we don't need that. As a child, she suffered from bronchitis, and in her teen years, she's had an incident where, the line, where a line of party revelers fell on her, and her shoulder popped out. Ooh, she had a fractured rigs, it says. This caused her to develop lung problems. Then at age 25, she had her first TIA, her stroke. Since then, she had several minor strokes. She has willed herself back on many occasions. However, after 95% recovery, she had another incident, August 2023. She fell coming out of a swimming pool. She hit her head and has gone backwards where she's in pain and swelling of her ribs and her brain. Oh, that's terrible. It's been six months since she did have some pain relief, only to have pain again from a vehicle accident, which caused her to suffer from the effects of whiplash. Can you pray for healing and relief from pain, please? Uh, that's so sad. Uh, Rebecca, Linda, my knee is still swelling and hurting. I really do hate to ask him. You can, guys can ask as much as you want. Also that my daughter, Katie, finds happiness. Amen. Carlos, uh, I need some sort of miracle for my financial situation. Amen. Carlos, again. Sorry to bother. My sister called me that my mom is back in the hospital. She, she's swallowing all over her fragile body. She must be, must mean swelling. And the doctors are attending, getting her blood work, etc. Her name is Mercedes, 88 years old. Patricia, uh, please pray for my brother Julio's health and get a kidney transplant, ASAP. All right, Patty. Sherry. I've been diagnosed with squamous cell cancer, a slow-growing skin cancer. They scheduled my procedure four weeks away, which makes me uneasy. You would think that they would have scheduled it sooner. Please pray if there's spots of cancer on my skin that they will find them, remove them. And yes, Sherry, you're going to be okay, and they will keep a close eye. My dad had skin cancer and a scalp, and he was always having stuff removed. <coughs> By the way, he didn't die of skin cancer. So, Linda, please send hail and prayers to my relative, Ray, who's suffering from advanced dementia, his wife and children who are taking care of him. Jennifer. Oh, uh, this isn't a prayer. K Kathy, could you please pray for my twin sister who was recently hospitalized with dire diabetic complication from which she's still recovering. She needs strength. Amen, girlfriend. 
Dacia. I just started watching your show. I will be homeless after next week and will lose my beloved pets. I lost my son and dad in 2021. The family have left. It's so toxic. It was, so, it was a good thing when they turned their backs once they received the money. Huh? I need a miracle since I live in Northwest Florida and there's no help. Oh, you sure do, Dacia. God bless you. Marie, my BFF's granddaughter, Lindsay, had psychotic break under the new moon in Pisces Saturday and is in lockdown. She's a beautiful energy and she needs spiritual help. Susan, please request the most benevolent outcome for my right kidney. It's not working, but hopefully I will not need nephroostomy tube to drain it. Amen. Cindy, Linda, I tripped and fell on an icy hillside in Calgary, landing most of my weight on my right elbow and shoulder. Nothing is broken, but it sure feels like surgery is going to be needed. You probably ripped something. The rest of me is scraped and bruised, but okay. I can barely type this. Oh, you're going to be okay. <coughs> Elaine, I had to rush a six-month male kitten to the vet. He's in surgery and hopefully is tough enough to make it. He had crystal stones and urethia. My dog, Moochie, had several of those operations. He just goes to wee and then nothing but crystal comes out. It's very painful. It's very painful. So, Elaine, prayers for your kitty. Irma, I'm requesting prayers for my nephew who is struggling with, from PTSD, and he has more downs than ups. He has been struggling keeping a job, finding a calm place. Uh, thank you. Harriet, prayers for my friend Mary Knight, also with medical problems, needing money. Also prayers for my friend Charles, whose partner Jerry passed after a battle with cancer. Charles is on dialysis. Oh, wow. There's a lot of bad news here, you guys. DZ, please pray for me. I'm undergoing treatment for cancer. Marilyn, <clears throat> please pray for my brother, Bob, for the best recovery from his colon reconnection surgery. He's having problems and is in the ICU. He'll, I think he'll be okay. Bridget, please pray for my son who is struggling, alienating those <coughs> of us who love him. <coughs> please pray that he can get his life on track. My daughters and I need to move to a better home as our living room is flooded four times. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, we're going to get a new house for you. Just know what will happen. <coughs> Patty, may I please request healing prayers for my sister, Betty? She's having trouble with her vision. Also, may I request prayers for myself, my left leg, and my right shoulder. <coughs> Cynthia, asking prayers for my significant other, Larry Lee, to be blessed with the turn of his eyesight and balance as they found a blood clot in his head. Oh, geez. Doc mentioned possibility of blood dissipating in time. In the meantime, other capillaries, capillaries will form. Oh, geez. Anna, putting my husband Mike in the prayer group for healing a perfect job. His company was bought and he's wary of reorganization. <coughs> Please pray for Anne who has stage four cancer. That she does not suffer much. Susan, weight loss and diabetes. Thank you. Just Julie, knee prayers for my daughter, Rose. Texas doctors have told her she won't live past 40. She's only 31. She suffers terrible neck pain, and her boyfriend is emotionally and verbally abusive. Want her to enjoy what life she has left. Sharon, I need a prayer for my grandson, Christopher, as he has a brain tumor that is not curable. Oh, geez. That's just so hard. Bonnie, please pray for my son's mother-in-law, Jean. She has brain lesions, memory loss, and seizures. She may have brain cancer. Yeah, that's really sad. But you know what? When we go to the other side, we have nothing. We're whole again. Sue, I'm asking prayers for my health. Heather Kahn, who just suffered more than any human being I have ever been aware of, and yet she retains her strong faith. Enough is enough. What an incredible woman. To Heather, Sue. Oh, that was the last one, you guys. Took us almost 15 minutes to get through it. 
So put your feet flat on the ground if you can. We ask the realm that all of us in this room today send out well-being and most benevolent outcomes for healing. I put the green for the healing, which a lot of people need. I'm putting the gold for the money. A lot of people need money and new place to live. I'm putting the magenta. I don't know why I keep getting the orange. I'm putting the orange. I'm putting the blue. And I'm putting the silver, crystal, silvery, beautiful enclosure in this beautiful ball of prayers. Are you ready? One, two, three. Boom. Thy will be done. Thank you, you guys. And to submit a prayer, you have to go to, uh, it was so cool. For a while there, remember my sister used to take them and type them up. Now all you do is hit move and put it in the prayer box. So all I do is open the prayer box and read them out. So thank you so much. Thank you, Connie, Lisa, Ness. Thank you guys for helping T Barb. Big time prayers for everyone. Thank you for letting me know your updates too. If we get a good update. Thank you. Water Lily, Sherry. Oh, yeah, where in California are you going, Sherry? Or where in the West? Maybe you're not going to California. Thank you, Equus, Swami, Mama, Leona, Liz, Clarence, Kelly, Keith. Oh, Los Angeles. Not, I'm not near there. Veronica. All right, Celtics here. Love you all. Thank you, guys. Okay, so. I need to go. I got things. I got chores. I got chores. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love you all. I'll catch you on the other side. Cheers. Thank you guys again. Thank you.